So Steve, can you tell us a little bit about Lucy AI as a company and some of its goals? Great. Yeah, thanks for having me here, Ryan. Uh, Lucy's an answer engine for your company's knowledge. Uh, so she's going to be able to find content that lives within uh, all of your company data, whatever format it might be, whatever source that it might come from. And so, you know, we're connecting to that repository where it lives, if it's in your SharePoints or your Google Drive or Dropbox, uh, also your third-party tools, right? So we search through documentation and all, all sorts of things, help people find things uh, in your company's knowledge. Wonderful. And so Lucy4 is the latest version. What are some of its key features? Lucy4 is so exciting for us. Uh, we went through an amazing development phase, taking feedback from customers, uh, up from Lucy3, and also um, you know, really just going back to the drawing board and re-envisioning what knowledge discovery and finding knowledge looks like within big companies. And so what we did is um, we, took, we went back to the basics of what does it mean, what is, what is an answer engine all about? Well, it's about the answers and putting center stage the content that is, exists within your company and the people that wrote it and developing new opportunities to make connections within the enterprise. Great. So after a reasonable time of integrating Lucy, what is the success rate of someone getting the answer that they need? Yeah, what we look for in, in terms of success is obviously there's that engagement element of like, are people asking questions? Are people finding what they're looking for? Um, when, when I talk to customers, what I hear from them is, wow, Lucy saved my employees' time uh, within the company. And one of the things that's really exciting to me is having a recent conversation with some of our customers was Lucy introduced two people across different departments and really broke down the data silo, a barrier between departments in my company. That's something that's really magical for us and what we view as that kind of end goal is really making connections with, uh, with knowledge. Great. So has more remote working uh, post-pandemic increased the need for knowledge surfacing solutions like Lucy? Absolutely. Great question. Yeah, as people are working remotely, you know, they're they still want to maintain that connection with their company and with their knowledge and with their coworkers. And lots of times, you know, what we see is people are reaching out to their coworkers uh, asking for this document or for this question. Um, I know it's in here somewhere. It's written down. Where is it? But it's easier to reach out to Ryan and, and ask him. And so what we did is we developed um, what we call Lucy Synopsis, where you can talk to Lucy like you would talk to a coworker in Teams and just ask Lucy the question. And she can find you uh, not only that specific page of that document that answers your question, but also play it back for me in a, in a way that is really easy to understand. Fantastic. And so how not all information within a company uh, you necessarily want to surface, how do you kind of um, protect some of the more sensitive information within a company? Great question. So we have a really robust list of uh, access controls, both role and attribute based access to fit your company's uh, really taxonomy and understanding of uh, who has access to what. So I can do, I can lay out in front of Lucy and say, you know, here's the different departments with my company. Here's who has access to those things. Um, and as a user, I ask the question. I get the best answer for the context that I have I have access to. So Lucy's going to be able to search through my knowledge, what I can see, and help me navigate that through my own access level and that, that detail as well. Great. So what makes you stand out from other answer surfacing solutions? So, so one of the things that's really ma magical about Lucy and the reason that we use the term answer engine is we believe in more than the blue link. Uh, we think of uh, search as a holistic end-to-end -end journey of I have a question but I'm going to use that answer in a deck that I'm working on. Um, I know I want the original file, that original cited source, but which page of that file is it on? Um, maybe I want to reach out to the person that wrote the document and ask them to clarify this one point that was in there. Maybe that uh, adds into the context for future people who find that answer. So we think about that entire knowledge journey beyond just finding the document that you're looking for and downloading it. Um, and then beyond that, you know, Lucy really connects to all the data where it lives, right? So you're not pushing data into Lucy. Uh, she's just building up that index over time uh, to my first and third party sources that are most relevant to my company, uh, right? So connecting to SharePoints, um, but also to third party tools that are knowledge repositories in themselves. So like Confluence, ServiceNow, 
other tools that house a lot of company knowledge, um, but in a format that's really only accessible within the tool itself. And talking about the industry more generally, how is a startup like Lucy AI maintaining its agility in such a fast-moving sector? My goodness, it's an amazing time. It's so exciting that um, we're on this big wave of uh, generative AI, and there's there's never been more enthusiasm for the topic. Um, you know, I talk about this a lot with my team. We want to we maintain a set of principles about. What is it we are all about? Why do we do what we do? We empower people with knowledge. And how can we use these new tools and these new exciting developments to help do that? And then at the same time, have a really strong pulse of what our customers want. Um, so we always have those conversations with all of our customers and all of our prospects to really understand, you know, where are they in their generative AI journey? And how can we build the right tools so that as they're developing their own policies around generative AI and how can they be used and this sort of thing, we have the ability to adapt to their needs and really meet that as well. So we have a full, uh, robust, configurable generative AI feature set and we can work with your company to help navigate your company's policies as well. Fantastic. So what can we expect from Lucy over the course of the next year and beyond? So obviously we're super excited to uh, continue to build on this strong foundation of Lucy 4. We have, um, you know, we re really went back to those principles of this is about your content and the people that wrote it. And as we look at that and think about how we want to expand that further and where this could go, we're really excited about the people that wrote it and starting those conversations and, like I said, making connections between departments of my company and using Lucy as a tool to empower people to talk to each other and build and foster connections within the enterprise. So we have some really great stuff coming on that topic and I'm really excited to share. Great. Thank you for talking to me today, Steve. Thanks so much for having me. Take care.